from track ready performance to environmentally friendly. You guys see our positioning, you see our advertising, you know, you know what we're about, we're Fiat. So when we launch a full battery electric car, we're not launching it with engineers in lab coats or somebody wearing hemp sweaters. We're gonna make sure that we have a very technical car, best electric car in the industry, in our opinion, but we're also gonna make sure that it's the best looking car. Because let's be honest, there's a lot of choices out there to go green. And customers aren't that familiar with those technologies. The reason that they don't want to pay more is they don't see the value in them yet because they don't understand them. So the biggest challenge to electric cars is people say, I want to be green. I want to be environmentally friendly. But I don't want to pay $12,000 more for it. If you make it easy for me, I'll do it. Make it even more complicated. It's not a choice of technologies. Now when they decide on battery electric, in the next 24 months, they're gonna have 18 choices. Now their head starts spinning. Okay, now I settled on battery electric. Now I got all these other choices. Each one of these cars is gonna be positioned differently. They're gonna go after different customers, different segments. This gets really, really minute levels of detail. You know, you talk about going after an industry with a shotgun approach, then you say you wanna get specific and you go with a rifle. Well, you know the size of the battery electric segment. Put 18 cars in it. This is a scalpel. People are scalpeling up this thing trying to go after that customer. We looked at this and we said, okay, we've got to do this differently. We've got to make this car all about the positioning of the car. We don't want to build an electric car. The Fiat 500e, from a positioning standpoint, Lou will argue with me, it should, because it's his baby and he built a beautiful car. But from a positioning standpoint, I say this is not an electric car. I say it's a Fiat 500 that also happens to have a state-of-the-art electric powertrain. Now that's easy to say, that's a bunch of marketing BS. If I can back that up though, maybe it's something different. Maybe it's something different than somebody else has done. So I say there's four challenges. There's four challenges to every electric car. Why don't electric cars sell? You guys are all thinking this. Why do customers not want to buy an electric car? Four reasons. Price, complexity, range, and infrastructure. First one's obvious. Price, this is the first time you're gonna see it. Price of the car is $32,500. It's a good price, but I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna make that even more attractive. The reason that electric cars are challenged is if you look at our base car, 40 MPG, $16,000. The electric car, $32,000 great price point it's double the price of our 40 mpg car i like to be green i like to be environmentally friendly but i'm not paying double okay so let's make sure we don't decontent the car let's give you a car that's completely loaded every single option on our electric car there are no options other than a sunroof and a sport package that's it pick your color say if you want a roof say if you want a sport package that's it everything so if i make a comparison to our regular gas car with all the same equipment it's 20,700. Okay, now you're getting closer, but you're still $12,000. I want to be green, but I don't want to spend $12,000 more. Buying a car is complicated, but people now have gotten used to, okay, that's the sticker price, there's rebates, I negotiate, that's how I buy a car. Now an electric car adds a whole new level. Now I've got federal tax credits, I've got local credits, I've got uh, employer rebates, I've got HOV, I, oh God, how does all this work? I'm gonna get frustrated. Forget it, I'll just buy the gas car. It's close enough. Range, daily use range. How do I know if I can get to where I need to go? How do I know that I can get to work, run three errands after that, go to the gym and still make it home? How do I know that I can do that every single day? Occasional use anxiety, you may have seen that we did a press release last week. Uh, we have a very unique thing that we're trying to do to overcome that. And range consistency. We have a heated and cooled battery pack so you know that the best in class 87 mile range is gonna be consistent. And infrastructure, location of charging stations. How do we find them? How do I know where they are? I know I got one in my garage, but how do I know that I have them in my route, on my, you know, near to where I work, things like that. And product choices and availability. This is a brand new one that's just been cropping up recently. Electric cars are expensive. Dealers have to stock cars. It's not like Europe where they order a car. Here they stock a car, customer comes in, buys the car and takes away that day. Well, dealers don't want to stock 15 or 20 of them. They have all the different colors, all the different interiors, all that kind of stuff. So the customers are telling us, you know, I really wanted the gray one, but they didn't have it. I don't want to order it. So what we did is something I, I think is pretty, pretty unique. Um, 
we're actually going to have distribution centers for them to pick up the car, not pick up the car, the dealer will pick it up for them. But the dealers will have a couple in stock, and then we'll have a Southern California and a Northern California location that stocks all the inventory. So within 24 hours, if you gotta have the gray one with the black seats and the sport package, you can have it in 24 hours. And you can manage for us. Uh, and then the smartphone app. We have a very unique smartphone app that Matt's gonna take you through in great detail. Um, and I said there's only two options on the car. Nothing is optional, everything is included. So our smartphone app is gonna help you find charging locations. It's gonna help you map out your roof. It's gonna let you pre-cool your car. All the stuff Matt's gonna take you there, standard. It's not optional and it's available, obviously, since it's standard. Like on some cars where you can't even get it as an option. Range. The biggest thing on range is we know that we have the best in class 87 mile range. We know that we're heated and cooled battery pack. We know we have that. Uh, we know we have the less than four hour charging time. But what we think is really unique is this. We call it the Fiat 500 E-Pass. Now, it sounds a little complicated at first, but the way this works is, okay, I've thought about this. I know that I drive 20 miles to work. I know that when I run my errands, electric car is perfect for me. But once a year I take a trip to visit my relatives out east, what am I gonna do? Every time you buy a Fiat 500, we set up a business account for that customer. People say, why didn't you do it at the dealership? Why did you use Enterprise? Well, I have 200 dealerships across the country. There's 6,000 Enterprise locations. 6,000 Enterprise locations located within 12 minutes of 90% of the people that live in this country. So there's one close to everyone. We set up a business account for every buyer and we put points in their account. The points will get you 12 days of alternate transportation per year. So if you need to take a vacation for seven days, come on in, pick up a car, it's done. You got a business account, give your name, take the car. You get a standard vehicle, you get a 500, 500 health, a 200, and Avenger. Let's say you need to move your kids into college. You need to move them into the dorm, you need a pickup truck. Okay, call ahead, tell me you need a pickup truck. Use your points, you may not get 12 days now, you may only get 11 because you use more points to get a pickup truck, but you can then take a pickup truck, take your kids to college. You wanna to go to Disneyland, you need a minivan. Okay, take points, use the minivan. We're making it as flexible as possible to overcome what we see as a huge, huge uh, stumbling block to electric cars. <coughs> then on complexity. Um, we've done a couple of things on complexity that we think are pretty unique. First thing is we looked at all the competitors and how they overcome tax credits and how they overcome all of the complexities behind buying an electric car. And everybody has the same thing. They have PDFs on their website that say, this is what a tax credit is, this is how you do it. It's, it's very dry, right? So we tried to make it a little more interesting, and we're gonna actually give you a link before the embargo that's gonna give you a little hint at this. And we actually set up a uh, kind of a dating website uh, where you actually go in and you punch in your zip code and it tells you, okay, based on your zip code, how many miles you drive to work, what types of vehicles you like, and different criteria, just like you're going to a dating website, it'll tell you the perfect car for you is a Fiat 500 Sport 40 MPG. Or it'll say, you know what? You're a perfect candidate for an electric car. Let me tell you how it works. And then it walks you through videos of, here's how a tax credit works. Here's how charging time works. Here's how range works. Here's how our nav app, uh, apps work to find charging stations, all of that. A little bit uh, clever, we think. And then the biggest thing is, we want to make it easy and user-friendly so that they come in and look at the car. The key is to get them in the car, and you'll see this today when you drive it, get in the car and drive it, and all that fear goes away of, what's an electric car? Well, they drive it, they go, this is a great, this is a great Fiat 500 with a really cool powertrain. So we gotta get them in the dealership, so we wanna make it really user-friendly. And then we hope that we never run into a situation where they get there and somebody can't answer their question. What's a tax credit? And, and the salesperson can't explain it well enough. So in every studio, we will have that phone. It's an internet-based phone that actually doesn't dial, you pick it up and you're immediately connected to our electric hotline. So you walk in and you've got a question on charge times, range, smartphone apps, how your tax credit's gonna work. Pick up that phone, if they can't answer it, you pick up that phone, we've got an expert on the other end of the line that's gonna answer any question that you have. You get home that night, you forgot something you talked about, dial back into the number, it, it is a phone number behind the scenes, dial back into the number and you can get the same information again. Price is the number one stumbling block. I said that comparably equipped, the car's $12,000 more expensive. People are not gonna spend $12,000 more. There's some, but it's a very small number that will pay $12,000 more for that technology. So we think we got really aggressive on the price of $32,500. We also have included in that a $2,000 rebate to launch the car. So if you net all that out, 
you also get a $2,500 California uh, rebate. You can get the car down to $20,000. Okay, I'll put that off to the side. That's an interesting number. But that's not the most interesting thing. The most interesting thing is what we're going to do to position this car for the customer to buy it. We think the average customer is going to lease this car. In California, the LEAF is leasing now about 80%. So leasing is very attractive for a new technology. So we want to make sure that we have a very attractive lease price point for this customer. So our lease on this car will be $199 a month with $999 down. That is very significant because that is the exact same lease that we have on our POP $16,000 car. So we're going to say, take price off the table. The choice is yours. Do you want 40 MPG? Or do you want 108 MPGE? Same price. So we think we're trying to address every possible stumbling block and give them those choices. Now, I could get a little crazier with this math, and I can tell you that we can go deeper. I can tell you that it's 199, 999 down, doing nothing. But that's not real. I can really drill this down a little further, and I can say in the state of California, you get 2,500 bucks. If I take the 2,500 bucks off, this thing's now 166 with nothing down. And you guys all know, if you can live in certain municipalities in California, you get even more. So you can get this thing down to 95 bucks with nothing down. If you work at Google, you get another five grand, but none of that's important. What's really important is that we're gonna say, we've taken all the objections off the table to get you into the dealership. Not all the objections off the table for you to buy the car, we wanna get you in and experience the technology because we think we have the best car, and if we can get you in and drive it and experience it, you'll realize that it's not an electric car. It's a Fiat 500 that also happens to have a state-of-the-art electric powertrain, and we're gonna give it to you for the same price to try and get everybody comfortable with this technology. But it's a Fiat, so we're gonna make sure that we kept all the driving characteristics. You guys are gonna see that today. Um, the, probably the best thing that we heard yesterday after the drive was two things. My favorite was on the Abarth. Um, one journalist actually admitted that he was scared. Never had that happen in all the drives that I've been on that a journalist admitted that he was scared. Um, and the second thing was somebody admitted on the electric car that they forgot it was electric. My God, Lou, is that the best compliment you could get? Uh, prices, I wish we could have recorded it. Um,